In Excel, you can use as many operators as you want in a single formula. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the Excel operators, use them in examples, and show you the results. The first operator I'm going to go over is the AND symbol, or the concatenate operator. <clears throat> the formula I'm going to enter is equals, in quotations, the cow, then I'll enter the AND symbol, and then in quotations I'll enter jumped over the moon. Our result for this formula will be the cow jumped over the moon. What it's doing is, <clears throat> is joining these two strings of content together. We can also do this in uh, cell reference. In cell A1, I'm going to enter in the cow. And in cell B1, I'll enter in jumped over the moon. Now in cell A2, I'm going to enter our formula, which is A1, e the equal symbol, refer to cell A1, enter the AND operator, or the concatenate operator, and then refer to cell B1. What this does is join the strings of content in cell A1 with the string of content in cell B1, with the result of the cow jumped over the moon. Another operator is the hat symbol. In cell A1, I'm going to enter equals 5, the hat operator, and 3. This raises 5 to the third power, which is also 5 multiplied by itself three times, resulting in 125. I can also use the hat operator to do square roots or cubed roots. In cell A1, I'll enter in a formula equals 125, the hat symbol, and then in parentheses, I'll equal one-third. This raises 125 to the third power. This raises 125 to the one-third power, which is also the cubed root of 125, resulting in 5. We also have the less than operator. In cell A1, I'll enter in 100, and in cell B1, I'll enter in 50. Now, in cell A2, I'll enter in our formula. The formula is equals cell A1, then enter in the less than operator, and then enter in cell B1. If the value in cell A1 is less than the value in cell A2, then the formula will return a true result. If the value in A1 is greater than or equal to the value in A2, then the formula will return false. Another operator is the less than or equal to operator. In cell A1, I'll enter in 100, and in cell B1, I'll enter in 100. Now, in cell A2, I'll enter our formula. Formula is the equal symbol, A1, less than or equal to operator, and cell B1. If the value in cell A1 is less than or equal to the value in cell A2, then the formula will return true. If the value in A1 is greater than the value in, in cell A2, then the formula will return false. Finally, I'll enter the not equal to symbol, which is the less than symbol and the greater than symbol combined. Now in A a1, I'll enter in 100, and in cell B1, I'll enter in 100. In cell A2, I'll enter in our formula, equals A1 is less than or equal to cell B1. If the value in cell A1 is not equal to the value in cell A2, then the formula will return true. If the values in both cells are equal, then the formula will return false.